was the deepest, the livest pop in the whole world at that time and in their face. So every time they caught a soft little bro or somebody that just came home, poop, that don't know no better, they'll beat them up because he don't know no English. He can't defend himself. He weighs like 40 pounds and they'll take his paperwork, pop. And now they got the L's. So now everybody runs around in the world calling themselves twin. That's some king shit. I would never call myself twin. So I, I, I was, we were just fixing the lies, right? And even when it comes to Treyway, you got to understand the people that became blush, the majority of them were king at one time that was putting in work that are Spanish. This is just facts. So when you look at Billy, Treyway, all that whole situation, boy, the king say Yahweh for years, for decades. New York City, Yahweh, am I bugging or what? Drop it in the comments, you know I'm saying facts. So did they copy? Of course, but let's keep it a stack. Cause when somebody said Yahweh, dudes were like, yo, they copying from blood. Respectfully, love to everybody. We just saying a story that's fact. So you can know real history. Cause these dudes go around lying. So we were saying how dudes beat together so much that everything is almost the same. And it's a fact. So we've been saying Yahweh since Yahweh existed. Look up Yahweh. And then they came up with Treyway. <laughs> we've been had a gangster killer king. Facts. And that's the tribe I was in, so I know. <laughs> well, fact. <laughs> and then they came up with GKB. You can't copy somebody if you was here first, my dude. So let's stop that, number one, okay? And that's like with a shout out to everybody. Hopefully you don't join a gang. Gangs are real stupid and the most ignorant thing in the world. I've never been in a gang in my life. And I never plan on joining a gang, but that's for you to look up and for you to analyze what I'm saying. I'm a grown man making a video respectfully that you're watching. With that being said, hopefully you hit like, dislike, you drop an emoji, a comment, something to make it shake and bake. And if you don't, I'm just figuring you don't comprehend English. Ah, but little Boom Boom stepped up in the room. DJ Academic starts to cry. This is what I was told. I can't play the video because Academic be smashing people. Bop! For using his content, but he uses everybody's content to make videos. He don't talk about himself. His story is not like that. You heard his story consists of Adam 22, Wag 100. You heard internet shit. It's not outside shit. So this is what I'm saying. And it's cool, right, to be inside. Like, you ever been outside so much because you had to be outside because there was no inside? Everybody's outside is different, you heard? We're not the same. You go to the hood, we go to the gutter and the slums where argument can lead to the guns. Rest in peace, Sandman, back home, you heard? Back Southside, Jamaica, Bitcoin. Boom. So with that being said, for those of you that don't know why I be shouting out Queens, I be in Queens a lot, and I've lived in Queens for almost two decades from Brooklyn, going every day to Brooklyn, taking the uh, Atlantic Avenue straight in the whip, pop, pop, on some Grand Theft Auto shit, these are facts. So shout out to the whole Shelfing Boulevard, for the big B's on Shelfing, for the L's, all that, stay away from gangs, you heard gangs are bad for you. <laughs> that's what they want you to say? Oh yeah, that's how it goes, right? You can pop over to my YouTube channel. Yo, boom. So. Hot, hold on, but it was cold outside a minute ago and I just came from outside. That's why I'm overdressed like this. Fat. <laughs> Give me a second of your time and we're gonna get right back into reporting crime.
Yo, you know what's been going on lately? This is what's been going on. Pop. This is why I keep the good sunglasses, you heard? The big rays, the big rays, you heard? The big rays. Facts, all colors, all flavors. You already know I'm the sunglasses dude, you heard? Because I shine like the sun, you heard? Facts, because the almighty father said I am the sun. The almighty father, you heard? The king of all kings, you know how we do. We in the building, let's get it. They mad. I told you don't play with me that way, you heard? I got time. When you got time, you win. If you don't got time, it's not for you, player. You heard? There's no way you can out-talk the talkable. I'm more unstoppable. <sighs> it's the Terminator. <clears throat> Yo, little boom. Academic, so I heard that he apologized to Act, to Big Act. I don't know, man. With all due respects, though, that he was Act's friend. So it just bothers me because in between time, Act starts reporting about P. Diddy. And, he, and I guess he feels like that goes into the same algorithm. So let's talk about Little Boom, but let's put Puff Daddy's situation within the same conversation. I don't know if that's even the same. But then again, it, it, it plays, you know, these topics are very touching and I don't like to touch on them because I have to remember about me and my pain. I don't like to always be remembering it. So I try to move away from it, although it's good to feel and let out things. But sometimes I'm not comfortable enough with you. You know, you I'm just kidding. you I don't care what you know about me or what you hear or whatever you're. I, I swear to God, I don't. If I did, I wouldn't make videos. <laughs> Facts, I'm content with who I am today as a man, who I always been, you heard? When you run into me in real life, you be like, oh, snap. <laughs> Boy, is that times 10, you heard? Facts. Boy, it's really him. <laughs> I promise you, boy. No YouTube, no none of that, you heard? We being easy. <laughs> Facts, the big sleazy on the block with the gleezies. <laughs> Chill, hold up, be easy. Yo, shout out to the Red Nose Pitbull. Nah, he, if you heard. Facts. So, uh, yeah. Little Boom, academics, friends. He apologizes. He made a big apology. Apology is definitely not accepted. I don't think that people are going to accept it. I think his career is over. I don't know what you think. When somebody does something like that, could they come back and rap? I mean, 6 9 did it respectfully. But then again, when you report on these things, I'm going to keep it green with you and keep it real. YouTube does start crying and think that you're bashing people. So we never want to bash nobody. That's something that we never want to do. You heard? Uh, that's a fact. So drop a comment. Let us know what you think about the apologies. That just kills me. Well, at least, at least he said something. If he did apologize, at least he said something. Most people wouldn't say nothing. So if he did apologize, even to act, I think that was a, a manly thing to do, although I may not see him as a man or doing manly things, right? But again, you have to bear in mind that this was a friend of his. So it's just, it's just like crazy because when it comes to the whole conversation, you have to analyze that. I don't know if Ak was making fun of Diddy, but he's on top of that. Pop, 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 pop that Diddy situation, right? for cash purposes and algorithm purposes. And it's cool, right? If that's what you gotta do to get to your bag, then cool. But you can't be using other people's content and when other people use yours, you report them, you get them a strike. You know, this is what they do. I've experienced this with Act before. That's why I stopped talking about him. Whether it's his team, whether it's him, whether it's whoever it is, it's just wrong, right? So, and, 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 and especially if the individual is not talking bad about you, like in not one of my videos, well, maybe one, you can't find somewhere where I'm literally like straight bashing someone where it's like straight bullying, like maybe a joke, a, a, a comedy type situation, like a joking, but with truth. And that's the type of jokes that really hinder people and destroy their whole career is the jokes that are like, yo, but that's true though. You get it? And I think that's what bothers some people. Like this dude does it so jokingly, but yet real, yet factual, and yet I'm really gonna do what I said I'm gonna do to you when I ever run into you. <laughs> you get it? So, and that's a joke too, YouTube, you heard? Don't take it serious. <laughs> Look, I'm laughing. <laughs> you get it? So, I don't know, it's just weird to me, but 
he, you, he did go hard on Puff Daddy's situation. And then you got a boy of yours that's in the chat. Someone that's been following you. Someone that you know. Someone that's your dear friend. And he's doing these things in 2024. If I was him, I would just stop talking about Diddy, period. And anything that has to do with that. And in fact, it's weird how these people are all friends. I want to say this in a respectful way because YouTube lately has gotten so sensitive. But they all were charged with damn near the same thing. It's just something to think about. Like, I don't, I, and allegedly we're academics, right? Because I don't want to be like reporting for a situation. Although I have, I've said things that then I come to find out they weren't fully valid. I don't care. I still left the video up there. You saw it already. What's the sense in deleting it? I might as well keep making money off of them. Like, let's be realistic. Delete it for why? We don't do delete, bro. Neither do they. Go back and look at all their videos. They don't either. So what will make us any different? I don't know. But do you think the academics should be joking about these kind of situations? with Puff Daddy or even reporting on it when there was just an incident with one of your super duper close 